Good morning, Floss Tube. Uh, happy Thursday. It's December 13th. Um, it's Helen D. We have a bit of a different setup today because the glitches on that phone drove me crazy last time and I never really had a chance to figure it out. So I'm using the iPad. Don't adjust your screens. I really am this pale. I really am this eye baggy. <laughs> but here I am. Um, I had quite a bit piling up, so I thought I'd make a video today and then we've got Christmas break coming from school, so it will be a bit. Um, I'm not sure where the camera is on this, so I'll probably be looking not where I'm supposed to. So just look at the stitching. You don't need to look at me. How is everyone? It's been cold here. We had that snow over Thanksgiving, so we had a white Thanksgiving. Um, and then it kind of stopped, which that was unusual that we even had that. It has been really cold the last week. Um, so we've had to bundle up and hats and mittens and all that. Um, other than that though, not much. It's kind of in that crazy leading up to school break time. We had the winter concert last night for chorus. Um, you know, there's some extra things going on at school, trying to get things finished. Uh, my shopping is all done. My wrapping is not, um, but I'm pretty close. I'm always glad, cat fights. I'm always glad when um, I get my closet back. <laughs> my mom, because they're in Florida, she sends all of my sister Donna's gifts for her kids to me. Um, she does a lot of her shopping online and then she sends them to me and I wrap them up and then we get together, we're getting together next week. But until then, <laughs> all that stuff's in my closet. So I'm always, I told my husband this morning, he went in to get a shirt and I said, I'm glad your stuff's on the front because I can't get to anything in the back. It's too messy in there. So I have some stuff to show and then I did shoot um, just a little kind of tour. It's not a house tour. My house is not that clean and it's not that fancy. So it's just kind of a stitching tour of the things that I've done and that I have out. Um, and a lot of them, they're just on the wall so they probably don't look very fancy because they're on my unpainted that area wall. <laughs> um, everything else in my house seems to be blue or gray, but the walls that came with the house are like, you know, that off white. So it is what it is. Um, I have an FFO, I have a couple FFOs, but I had a couple big finishes this time and the light is really bad on my glasses, but I was even more vampire-like without the window open. So we opened the window. <laughs> um, I had the two stitch alongs going that I was working on all year and the last charts came out um, of course in December so they are both finished and I'm so excited. Um, my husband said the other night he's like oh you're really you've been working hard on things. I'm like well but it's it's like it's go time and all this stuff that has been piling up throughout the year now it's it's getting done. So first one and I know the reflection is going to be terrible because I can't even get a picture of it to share. That's not bad. Uh, Into the Jungle is finished. This is Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, the fabric I had dyed myself for something else and then never used it and it sat in the drawer. And then when they announced this one um, and did the little preview, I thought that's gonna be perfect. So I used the majority of the called for, some of the greens, um, like in the iguana, and the frog, I had to change because they didn't work with the crazy fabric. And then the, they're not parrots. Whatever the bluebirds, macaws, whatever they are up on top were supposed to be green, but again, that just, I, I turned them to blue so they'd fit. And then I changed some of the leaf colors and the borders just to kind of what I wanted it to look like. So this frame I found just right at Michael's. It's actually coming out fairly true to color. It's a blue. Um, I've been trying to figure a way, because you guys know that framing stuff is really expensive and we all want to stitch all the things and then you finish them and you want to see them, but you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on everything. So for this one, the frame came from Michaels. This is just the Michaels glass. That's why it's like super reflective. 
I had ordered a while ago a frame because I needed a weird size from American Frame. And when I did, they give you, like when you order the frame from them, it doesn't come, it doesn't come with glass. You could get it with plexiglass, I think. I just got it plain. But their finishing kit for like doing it yourself, I taped them close so they wouldn't fall out everywhere. It came with these things, which are called spring clips, and I hadn't seen them before. That's a major cat fight action over there. So it's these little clips that you screw into the frame, and then it just holds stuff in. Um, so I went on and I ordered a whole bag of those and a whole bag of screws and a whole bag of the little hanger thingies and the bumpers and they had the archival foam core, um, you know, pre-cut. So I finished this myself. It's not fancy. It's lumpy and bumpy, but whatever. Um, all of that stuff was like less than $30. So I figure that way I can finish some things in frames myself, and then some I will still take to get framed. I love just doing regular, you know, Priscilla finishes too, but on the bigger pieces that I want on the wall kind of year round, I thought they kind of needed to be in something. The only thing I didn't do, that one has, I used some extra mat board to cut like spacers for the glass. American Frame has spacers, Amazon has spacers, but it's like a hundred feet of spacers for $50. So that's like a lifetime supply of spacers. So I'm still trying to find someplace else to get my spacers um, where I don't need quite so many. So the other big finish, do 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 do, uh, Guardians of Notre Dame. This is Ingleside Imaginarium, stitched on a uh, 16 count Banshee from Hand Eyed by Stephanie, which the fabric looks great in this light. The stitching looks a little dark. Um, again, I loved this one. This, I believe, is my favorite thing I stitched all year. And you can put it any way you want. Technically, the way the patterns came out, this is the top. But again, it can go whatever way you want. This one I am going to take up to be framed because I'd like it to have a circular. Can you guys hear them? They're crazy today. Um, I'd like to have a circular mat. I was looking for a circular frame, but again, I couldn't find one that had glass. Um, and this is staying up all year, forever. So that one I want to have in glass. So I'll take that one up. The other FFO, uh, I finished up those Christmas sleds, which is a good thing because they need to be going to where they need to go. So I will put a picture in of those. I did 13 sleds. Two of them stayed at my house. Uh, four went to my sister. Two went to my friend in, um, my college friend in New Hampshire. Four were teacher gifts. I'm not as good as Stephanie at math, but I believe that's all accounted for because I don't have any left. So those are done. Oh, the other thing I can insert a picture of um, we had our meetup this weekend, our stitching meetup, and we did an ornament exchange. So I stitched, um, uh, Donna and I both stitched little prairie schoolers that came from the mini ornament pack. It's um, pack F, and I finished those both for us. So I'll put a picture in of those. And then my last FFO, because you know, I had all these holiday things I'm trying to finish up. That's gonna tip out. This is, this is Cardinal Noel, and I'll pull it out of the bowl, but that's what it looks like in the bowl with things tipping forward. Um, 
This is Misty Purcell's Luminous Fiber Arts. I had finished this on my last video, but not FFO'd. So this is done on her fabric, the mint green. Um, and I finished it in a pillow. <laughs> this fabric is so old. I have another little stitchy piece that I didn't put out this year because it hangs on a doorknob and I didn't want the cats to trash it. Um, that I stitched when I lived in New Hampshire, which was 20 years ago. Um, and that's when I bought this fabric. <laughs> but it was perfect for the colors in this. I still haven't figured out how to get the ends of the cording to just be in it without fraying, so they dangle. So that one is done, and I love having that one out in my bowl. So FFO FFOs. I was busy. And FOs with the Guardians of Notre Dame. That got, it was in the pile in that spot, so that's where it got pulled out. Um, so that was a lot. I had a lot to do. So for whips, once I finished those, I've been working away on Happy Christmas, which I'm doing as a stitch along with Misty and Frankie and Heather and Carla, and there's a bunch of people, which is awesome. So Prairie Schooler, Happy Christmas. Um, when Misty talked to Hoffman, this is on the list to reprint at some point so don't pay an arm and a leg just wait it, I tell myself that there's a couple you know that I have my eye on that I'm like don't pay an arm and a leg you weren't gonna get to it right away anyway just wait so this one's coming along this is my I tell Misty this is my daytime stitch because I can't see on the black at night but as you can see if I take this out in the sunshine I can see all those holes no problem um, so I'm getting there. I, yesterday I worked on the snowflakes by the church and I'm starting these trees and just moving the snow over. I need to pick out like four here because I realized I just threw them in there. That's where the other squirrel's tail goes, so I'll pick those out. So this one is my daytime piece, but I've just been really busy during the daytime, so it hasn't gotten a ton of love. And then when I finished, the two year longs, I told myself until, before I can start anything new, <laughs> I really need to finish up sorry, a couple of long standing whips. And one of them, this isn't even that long standing, um, but my son keeps saying, where's my other dragon? So I gotta work on his other dragon and get it done. This is Heliotrope, Firewing Designs. This is on her Etsy store. It's, what I found is it wasn't always listed. Um, this isn't one that she published that went through like the distributors. But if you message her and say, I'm interested in that, she'll list it for you. Um, I bought this one and a couple others that were like that, that you just have to tell her I'd like to buy that, and she's more than happy to throw them up there. So I pulled this out to finish, and I kind of thought I had more done on it than I did. Uh, I am using Threadworks 10261, something berry. They don't put the name on there. So I thought I had more done than I did. That's where I am. And that's not even where I was. I was kind of around this corner. Boop. And I was trying to make them go vertical like it does in the picture and it looked terrible. So I was like over here and then I had to pick it out to over here. And then I put some more back in. So this might take a little longer than I thought, but it will get done. This color is showing up darker than it is. This is sea glass from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. I love this green. It's it's one of my favorites. It's really, really pretty in person. Um, and it's an Ada, this is 16. So that will get finished before I can start anything new. Actually, that will get finished and then I wanna finish Pretty Little DC. That's my plan. That one I am further along. That one I'm at least halfway, if not a smidge more. Um, looking at my notes 
So I had a couple, I had a gift, which was from our swap. Um, my ornament went to Janice, and then I got Cheryl's. And she did a prairie schooler too, so it worked out great. This is, I don't know what it's called. I'm guessing, ho, ho, ho. Um, this, and I looked it up, it's from The Gift of Stitching, November 2008. That's that magazine that last year, um, the woman who did it, like, decided she wasn't going to keep selling the back issues, so she sold them all off for like $1.50 each digitals. So if you bought them, this is in November 2008, and it's right on the cover. Um, so he's awesome. I love the fabric she used and the little hanger. So he's been on the tree. Thank you, Cheryl. And then I had some cards come in. Um, I think I've gotten more stitching cards than I have regular cards, <laughs> at least so far. We'll see. I send out quite a few family cards because um, my dad, I have a big family. A lot of those you don't expect one back. You know, they're to the aunts and uncles that just want to see the picture of your kid once a year. So I sent all those out. I sent out 30, 39 like family cards and I've only gotten five or six, so we'll see. But I got this beautiful card from Beth Ann, my friend in Massachusetts. I got the Merry Mail Call from Pam and Steph. I don't know where on earth you guys managed to find the world's largest mailbox. Cindy's cross stitch with all her gorgeous sunflowers. Whoops, I'm cutting her off. So that was a beautiful card. I still love this one. And then Jen Spoonaroonie sent me a card. So that's been really fun to have those come in. Um, I sent out, get away from that, devil. That's why things go in frames at my house. Um, I sent out a few to some of the addresses I had. And it was really cool to be able to send things like all across the country. Um, you know, my family is mostly in Maine and New England. So to be able to send things, you know, to, to Oregon and Ohio and Pennsylvania and areas I don't normally send things was fun. Waiting in line at the post office for stamps was not fun. <laughs> I had a pack, the two of the ornaments that went to New Hampshire for my friend I had to mail out. So I couldn't just go to the grocery store and buy stamps. Um, Hall, I do have a few things come in. I shouldn't because it's Christmas time. So I shouldn't be having things for myself come in. Yet somehow these things came in. I don't know how it happened. It just happened. Now I'm trying to think if there was something else because I ordered a gift. No, I think this is it. Four things. So have you ever really loved a design? And thought that's oh it's not available I can't find it I'm searching stash on load and it's not coming up and then you realize <laughs> dummy that the designer has an Etsy store and a website so here you are trying to find things and they're available for you to purchase at any time that's how I felt about blue ribbon designs <laughs> um, I had bought that Halloween one a while ago and then someone um, I think it was Pam, Pam and Steph had gotten one, a winter one or an Americana one at um, their guild sale. They, they got one. And I thought, oh, these never come up where I can find them. And then I found her website. And lo and behold, all the charts are there for the same price you would pay for them on Stash Unload, by the way. And she's having 15% um, off through like the 26th, maybe the end of the year, at least for the end of this week. So I ended up ordering two charts, neither one of which I'd seen before, and I love them both. So this is the first one. My camera's weird over here. This is, um, I can't read backwards, Woodland Tree Farm. And I think when I do it, I will leave the sign off and just fully do the fence so that I can leave this up um, all winter because you know I'm always trying to find things that I don't need to take down after Christmas so I love that one the other one I really liked was I liked them all let's be clear about that <laughs> I bought two 
um, Frolic in the Foliage. I love those owls. So this one, I don't know if I will finish as is. Um, let's see, on a 14 or a 28 count, it's 13 by nine and a half. Um, or I may just make little the little smalls for my bowl, or I may do it without the words. So many options. So if you're a fan of Blue Ribbon Design, they have an Etsy store and a website. I will link them below. Go get things on sale, my friends. Uh, so then I had another order come in from Beach Cottage because my friend Crystal on Instagram started this one and I didn't have it and they had it. <laughs> so um, this one is not out of print yet, but it's getting a lot harder to find. Um, but Beach Cottage had it. So I picked up that and with that, and I'm not taking this one, you guys have seen it, the plum pudding mice. So those are here. So I gotta say, for anyone who mails stuff, this is how my beach cottage order came in, which is a great idea. So it says Amazon Basics on the back, so I'm guessing obviously that's where they got them from. It's like an attached file folder that they just cut the tab off. So everything slipped right in there, everything, all, both patterns in my receipt. Um, and it gave it a little extra protection when they mailed it. So I thought that was really awesome. And I might look into finding some of those either through Amazon or I bet they sell them right at a store. We've come to the end of the list. I didn't have, I had stuff to show, but not too, too much. Um, plans, work on Happy Christmas during the day when I can see it, work on Heliotrope and try and get that one even remotely close to being halfway done um, so that then I can start some new things. I am starting button up, whether or not I have anything else done or not, because I won't have them done by then on Christmas day, um, hashtag button up sell. And then in January, um, we're doing the Prairie Schooler cell that we had mentioned. And we came up with a hashtag, Barbie did. And I'll put it below because I don't remember what it was. <laughs> and I don't want to tell you wrong, so I'll put it below. Um, I think for December, not December, January. Go into the, go into the stacks. Oh, and then I threw it on the floor. Uh, I think I'm just going to do an ornament for my Prairie Schooler start for January, and it might be from that Happy Christmas book that I just threw on the floor, um, or one of the other ones on black, because I already have all those colors pulled out, so I thought it would just be easiest to, while it's out to kind of work on that. And it's small, so I won't be completely overwhelmed. Um, so then hopefully mid-January, end of January, I can start some of the things I wanna work on for next year. I made a list, it's extensive. I know I won't get through it all. Um, so I did shoot, like I said, a little tour of the pieces I have stitched up. So I will tack those little videos here on the end. Um, I'm sure this will be the last video I make, definitely before Christmas and probably it will be that week of Christmas is vacation, so I won't be able to make one that week. So it will be the week after. It will be three or four weeks with this one, as I'm sure it will be for a lot of people because we'll all be busy. Um, but have a great holiday. I hope everyone is able to get together with family or friends or friends who are family um, and enjoy the holiday. The time leading up to it, we've been trying to do some fun things. Um, we have a Christmas party this weekend. I'm sure they'll do something fun in school that last week. We did the Christmas concert. Stuff, life stuff. I'll get together with Donna next week. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you, um, and I didn't write it down. Steph posted on her Facebook last night, so I saw it, that um, Casey, Buonagario, and I know I said that wrong, 
Um, she's the one who does those really cool like food patterns. Um, the witch's pie that Pam just got. Um, apple pie, lemon cake. She has a whole series. She had stopped designing a couple years ago because of all the copyright infringement. She was one of the ones that just decided it wasn't worth it, which was really too bad because her designs were really, really cool. She is doing for a limited time, um, she is selling, I believe they're JPEGs of her patterns through email. I'll put a link to her Facebook below. So if you're interested in some of those, um, now is the time. I know it's Christmas and gifts shouldn't be coming in for yourself, but now's the time. All right, I'll stop babbling. Uh, I'll put all my stuff away. I don't know how I like this iPad. It, you're set up on um, two board games and an easel. <laughs> so it's a weird angle. Um, but if I don't have to deal with the glitches and the audio issues and the editing is easier, then this may be how it goes. So thank you guys. I'll put those videos in and I hope everyone has a good few weeks and I'll talk to you later. Hi guys. I thought I would just shoot a few little videos of my Christmas decorations for you. Um, lighting will be an issue because the sun's coming in and a lot of stuff is in glass. But this is uh, in the dining room behind me where I shoot the videos and store my extra junk. Um, that's the Santa's List from Country Cottage Needleworks. And then those two little ones are older Emma Congdon Stitch Rovias, and they're from an old issue of Cross Stitch Crazy. Um, she hasn't put them on her website yet, but they're beautiful. I did those before I had discovered the joys of variegated floss, so I'm tempted to do them again. And then above that, I have one of my all-time favorites, Right in the Sun. Um, this is the Bothy Threads Cut Through North Pole. I finished this a couple years ago. This is one that I was more than happy to splurge and get framed nice. Um, and I love pulling this one out every year. Here's one side of the dining room shelves. The only cross stitch on this side is Marion Bright. That's from Frosted Pumpkin. It was a stitch along, I believe last year it is available on their website. And then these two old school plastic canvas decorations are two of my all time favorites. My grandmother had made these for my mom when we were growing up. And then my mom, I think she had the pattern for one and the other one she had to just kind of figure out on her own based on the one my grandmother had done, but she made them for Donna and I. So this one we have just some pine cones in for smelliness. Um, the church used to have a steeple. It has been eaten off by a cat sometime over the ages, and that one has a music box in it, and it has ribbon for the stained glass. My framed Frosty Forest, Country Cottage Needleworks, is hanging going up the stairs. Um, this is on Dwarf, Picture This Plus. I finished this one last year. This will stay up all winter because, like I said, we have snow here in April. So this one, because there's nothing overly Christmassy about it, this can stay right where it is. This was the new piece I showed you guys on my last video. This is, it might be called Ho Ho Ho. It's an old, um, one of the originals from Priscilla and Kathy Haberman, and it was in a Just Cross Stitch 2016. Um, this pattern, I'll have to, I'll look up the magazine and I'll put it below because I had someone ask me and when I looked, Annie's catalog, which does, um, it must, they must publish Just Cross Stitch. They have some issues now available as digital downloads and the one that this was in is one of those so it was like five or six dollars if anyone's interested so this is hanging kind of in the entryway i guess down by the ankylosaurus and the nerf gun which anyone else with boys i'm sure that's in your house too i didn't i didn't have the best spot to put my tray this year so i had an empty hook it's kind of leading into my messy kitchen so i won't pan over there um so I just hung it up here for now this year and then we'll see as time goes on. This might get moved to a spot where it's around a little more. It's just kind of hanging out 
by itself on an unpainted cream wall. The last spot where I have quite a bit of things is on top of the piano because I put my table runner there so I was allowed to put stuff on top of the piano. Um, both of the stitches here are new this year. So this is the Country Cottage Needleworks most wonderful time of the year finished on that tag that I had found. Um, I didn't hang it because it was just kind of sitting by itself on a plain wall, um, but I just set it up on a little stand. And then this one, if I can squeeze over there, that is the um, Christmas ABC from Lizzie Kate, which is also now available as a reprint on 123 Stitch for anyone who's interested. All right, thank you guys. I know I'm putting this at the end of the video, so I hope everyone has a great Christmas and a good start to the new year. Bye.